Hello, YouTubers. This is Perseverance giving you today a Blinch tutorial from Heart of the Swarm Games. And this is Retopology with the Cloth Simulator. Alright, so we'll get started. I've got a map here made by my friend the Butter Hero. Pretty awesome. Only a few things. Basic retopology needed. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to hop into object mode. Gonna zoom in. We're going to add a plane. Right. Got to be in object mode. Add the plane. Scale that up. You want this to be slightly bigger than the map. Just like that, like you can see, because this map is going to extract inside when the cloth simulator is run because it's kind of deep in there so you want this to give it enough space that it can really move around and do what cloth does alright so your next step is to go here you're gonna bump this up to 300 on your timeline you're gonna go to your uh, checkbox thingy, whatever that means. Or no, where you get your physics. Okay, you're going to add a cloth simulator. You're going to click on the bottom and you're going to add a collision simulator. Okay, now on this cloth you're going to tab into edit mode and you're going to subdivide. Not a whole lot because, I mean, what's the point of retopology? To knock the vertices down. So you just want enough vertices that you can get the basic shape but not have too many Vert slowing down your games or whatever. So right now I've got this up to a decent amount. That's this uh, that's about a thousand eighty nine vertices at the moment, something like that. So we'll drop this. We might add one more. That pops it up to four thousand two hundred twenty five. I'm gonna actually just leave this at one thousand eighty nine, just for purposes of this tutorial to show you uh, what happens. Make sure my computer doesn't kill itself with processing power errors. Okay, so vertices is added. You have the claw simulator. Now you press play and your computer is going to kill itself and be struggling and having a very, very difficult time. You can see my FPS is 1.70 and I'm running a very, very powerful AMD A10 computer core. So this may not even work with your machine if you do not have enough power, but what you'll probably do is start the, start the claw simulator, you know, Go watch a couple of movies, do whatever. Let it do is it's doing all the hard work for you that you would normally do with tree topology. So right now it's going. You can see the cloth is starting to deform, and I'll probably pause this video. And what you're looking for is as it deforms down, um, you will just watch it and wait for wait for the right moment to stop the simulation when the cloth is turned enough and it's gone down enough so you'll wait for the right moment pause the simulation and I will show you what to do next okay so I'm back and as we can see the simulation is stopped it's not perfect I didn't make it as long or give it as many vertices as I should have so it started making some weird bounce and bungee cord stuff going on here. But anyways, we're going to finish this up real quick and say, okay, so what you're next going to do is uh, go to the modifiers, click apply. This has now been statically simplified. You can delete the bottom. And your terrain should look a lot better than mine. Just give it a extra vertices, make sure it's got that extra split in it that I decided not to do. And make it a little bit longer so that just goes straight into that Kevin. Um, other than that, that's it. And you've got the mesh done. And GG. Catch you later.